Welcome to the video guys. So Brexit derangement syndrome is still in full swing, especially when it comes to celebrities, with the stupidity of their actions only matched by their insignificance to the British public. This is of course relating to the British celebrities now running to EU countries to gain citizenship there because of Brexit. With the Mail among others reporting, Emma Mia, actress Dame Emma Thompson, swaps virus hit flooded Britain to become a citizen of virus hit flooded Venice. <laughs> the irony and stupidity of her. Dame Emma Thompson memorably once described this country as a tiny little cloud bolted rainy corner of sort of Europe, a cake filled misery laden grey old island. Well, thankfully now, you won't have to be here, will ya? Reportedly, in the wake of Brexit, the Oscar winner is quitting these shores to seek more happiness and sunshine in Italy, and I can promise her she will not be missed. Dame Emma and her soy boy husband Greg Wise, who played Earl Mountbatten in Netflix hit The Crown, have become citizens of Venice. They have registered as residents of the Lagoon City, where they already own a house and are both having intensive Italian lessons. Well, at least they plan to actually learn the language. In fact, Dame Emma 60 and Wise 50 achieve two things at the same time, because people care why. By registering in Venice, which has ironically been hit by recent flooding and the current coronavirus crisis, they have also became official residents of Italy. This gives them the same rights to healthcare, work, and study as an Italian citizen, along with the current quarantine that's going on in a shitload of towns over there. She and Wise have also been granted honorary citizenship of Venice. This has no legal status, it is akin to being made a freeman of the city of London. They will still retain their British passports. Oh, so it's just all show and they'll likely be back here constantly. Bunch of whining, Ramonin tosspots that are just doing this for a bit of publicity, no doubt. Speaking in Italian after signing the formal documents last week, Dame Emma said becoming an honorary citizen of Venice represented the realisation of a dream she had cherished for years. Well done, no one cares. The mayor confirmed that they had been granted citizenship, who actually cares? The couple own a three million house in West Hampstead, London, but the deputy mayor of Venice said the Italian property would be their main residence. They wanted to be resident citizens to come and live in Venice, he said. Oh well, that's good then, they can fucking stay over there if they got a problem with our small country and how grey the skies might be, or whatever the fuck she said up there about it. Ramoning cunt, Venice is welcome to you. A source at the mayor's office said Dame Emma took the decision because of Brexit and because her children were now old enough for her to move away, fulfilling her dream to live in Venice properly. Well, there you go. You can take a run and jump. The UK will not miss you. Brexit will be better off without you. Just make sure to protect yourself from the current outbreak going on over there. The couple have a 20 year old daughter and adopted son that no one cares about. Dame Emma, who also has a Scottish holiday home, was a strong opponent of Brexit, claiming before the referendum that Britain would be mad not to remain in the EU. The actress and screenwriter added that she just felt European and we should be taking down borders, not putting them up. Well, you're still European because last I checked, the United Kingdom is a European nation. What you meant is you wanted to be an EU citizen. And no, we should not be taking borders down. We should be putting them up. You know, like Trump said, build the fucking wall. She will be following in the footsteps of her Love Actually co-star, Colin Filth who accepted honorary Italian citizenship in 2017, becoming a dual Italian and British citizen. Good for him. The actor, whose estranged wife Livia is Italian, previously said, Brexit does not have a single positive aspect for me. Many colleagues, including Emma Thompson, are like me, enthusiastic Europeans. Good for you. Luckily for you lot then, the European is very welcoming to every Tom, Dick and Harry especially useless washed up old fucks like yourself. If a Briton registers officially as a resident in an EU country before the deadline of December 31st this year, as Day Member has done, they have the right to live and work in that country permanently. So there you go, any Ramonas who are watching it, 
you have yourself a free ticket to go and live in another country and suckle off their state, instead of suckling off ours. After the deadline, anyone not resident will have to apply and be assessed according to the systems which emerge in individual EU countries. Dame Emma and Wise were unavailable for comment. They probably wouldn't talk to such a right-wing outlet as the Daily Mail anyway. Because from this we can tell they're no more than a bunch of Ramonian fuckpigs who are a bit salty the citizens of this country wanted something different to them and their interests. But for the woman who described this place as a tiny little cloud-bolted, rainy corner of sort of Europe, a cake-filled, misery-laden, grey old island, we are glad you are fucking gone. We will take our cake-filled, misery-laden, grey old island to ourselves and make it better. We do not need Ramonian celebrities running around telling us what to do or think. So enjoy your retirement in Venice, because let's be honest, no one really wants to watch you on British television anymore, if they ever did in the first place. But on that note guys, I am going to end the video there. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below, and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>